is our special report as the Mangaluru braces for the upcoming elections. The incumbent Congress is facing a big challenge to hold its tally where it had swept all the three seats of the city in Dakshin Kannada. The ruling party is particularly facing questions on the issue of sand mining which is having its impact felt in the urban as well as rural belt. Here is our report. Mangaluru, the most cosmopolitan city of Dakshina Kannada, is these days the ground zero of election activities. Last week, Congress released its manifesto in the city. BJP bigwigs are also slated to address election rallies and meetings in the coming weeks. BJP has said development is the only agenda for the Karnataka Assembly polls. Whatever little development we are seeing today, it is the continuation of additional funds issued during the previous regime or funds which have come from the uh, central uh, government. Otherwise, per se, this government during the past four and a half years has not done anything toward development in the city. BJP has also alleged that Siddharamaiya's flagship Bhagya scheme are burdening the state's treasury as it has not yielded the desired results. If you calculate it per capita of Karnataka, each and every individual today owes 50,000 bucks. So this is not a small amount. The government of Karnataka, irrespective of whatever bhagyas they have announced, it is a burden on every citizen of Karnataka. And this is just not acceptable. The Congress is holding all the three assembly seats of the city. Among them is State Minister Yudi Khadir. The two-time MLA claims that the opposition has no real issues to take on the government's record in office. Our government feels that every individual, the poorest of the poor, and the weakest and the weakest section has got right in the asset of the state. So we have to make programs for them. See, people like these people, we have to make programs like Anna Bhagya, like uh, their children should get uh, milk in the school. It's not just the issues like jobs for youth and Sederamaya governments, Bhagya schemes. The opposition BJP is also questioning the incumbent government over the issue of sand mining which they claim is impacting both rural and urban lives in Mangaluru and areas around it. Who want to build their own houses, they're finding it very difficult to access the sand. The sand mafia is playing uh, havoc here. Even a deputy commissioner of a district was attacked by the goons of sand mafia. Though the NGT has banned sand mining in the city, Shashidhar Shetty, a local ceramic businessman and environment activist who had moved NGD demanding ban, claims rules are flouted even today. The government too admits that the issue of sand mining has not been entirely resolved. River जो है पूरा अभी खराब हो रहा है कि river का basin भी river का जो basin कहते हैं वो भी खराब हो गया और जो NGT का law है पूरा वो रोड करके ये लोग कम से कम 14 crore rupees का sand loot किया है अभी हमारा पीने का पानी भी salt हो रहा है इधर problem has to solve and the CRZ problem and this non CRZ problem these are not only on the state state it's on the center also a CRZ the policy to change the CRZ code of uh, rules also is been recommended by the government. The activists, however, blame both the state government and the center for continuing apathy towards the natural resources. Rajat Kane's report for Rajasabha TV.